But we are on standby now because in just a few hours we're expecting a big hearing. This is about the Texas Attorney General's lawsuit against Harris County over the Uplift Harris program. The program that uses federal dollars to help families living below the poverty line. And as we reported, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is suing Harris County and its commissioner's court over the program, saying it's an illegal welfare scheme. Brittany Jeffers joins us live in downtown Houston with more on what we can expect today, Brittany. Yeah, as you reference that hearing set to take place later this morning, and we also know that in about six days on April 24th, those families had, who had signed up for the Uplift Harris program were set to receive the first round of payments, and that money could be used to buy household necessities, things like groceries. Well, we know that right now that is on hold until there is some type of a court decision. Again, we are expecting to learn more from that hearing coming up in just a few hours. So Harris County Judge uh, Lena Hidalgo as well as Commissioner Rodney Ellis first introduced this investment program, a $20.5 million investment program. It's known as Uplift Harris. They introduced this back in 2023 and the idea behind it was to try to help struggling families through a $500 a month grant to support their household needs. In order to qualify for this grant, however, families had to apply. Uh, they also had to have a household income at or below below 200% of the poverty line and they had to live in one of the 10 county designated zip codes. However, Attorney General Ken Paxton filed that lawsuit saying that the program is unlawful. So again, we expect to uh, get some more clarity uh, in this hearing, which is set to begin around 10 o'clock this morning. So we, of course, will be following this very closely for any kind of developments. Amy, yeah. Haley. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, big deal for Harris County. You know, some of the documents we know were already released. Do you know what those say, Brittany? And we went through some of them this morning, and this was mostly the county's response to this TRO. And in it, they were calling this lawsuit baseless. So again, we will see how all of this plays out today uh, and, and what uh, it will look like moving forward if those payments will in fact happen or not. Reporting live from Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. All right. Thank you, Brittany.